So it's like 2 a.m. and uh, I just, I don't know why I've been putting it off. I don't know why it's been so hard for me to make this video. I tried once before, but my camera turned off, um, ran out of battery, and I kind of just didn't end up making it. Um, maybe it's just because things have been so much better that I just feel like I've been in my flow state. Um, I, I just have been so much better <laughs> since my surgery, and I, I have been spending a lot of time doing creative stuff, and there's been a lot of things that have been hard, um, especially post-surgery. It was really rough trying to take care of myself. Um, I had a couple people, the first couple of days, my friend um, Amelia and my other friend Netta, they both um, came and helped me at different times, and that was really just really super helpful and wonderful of them, but I, I had to kind of pick up and do a lot of the things myself after that. And I think one of the things that I realized is just how strong of a woman I was. Um, another was that with all the little things about my dysphoria not there, it was just so much easier for me to function. And I, I can't express how wonderful it feels to know that I've made some progress in that way. And um, especially now that I have my breast surgery, I already had my consultation um, and I'm just waiting for a surgery date. Um, but now that I have that kind of um, in motion, it's, I just feel like anything's possible and I just, I keep on pouring everything into my work and just spending time with people that I, I well, I really have been spending a lot of time with other people because everyone's been busy, but I've been spending a lot of time messaging people and um, just talking and, and hanging out and, and being and I just feel so much less stress than I used to. So, yeah, I've um, been making some, you know, video game, uh, YouTube videos while I recover, and it's been kind of just wonderful to see to see and have this community um, support me when I'm going through all this, and I'm having, you know, a good five to ten people a night show up on my stream. Um, I just, I really feel good right now, and um, if you're wondering about having surgery and you're on the fence or kind of scared about, you know, what if it doesn't help, um, if the alternative is just living in pain, um, I really recommend it because it, it has been incredibly helpful for my dysphoria in so many different ways. So yeah, gender confirming surgery, um, 10 out of 10. Um, we should make it easier for people to get this. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Um, I'm gonna do a longer video where I talk about like what it was actually like to have the surgery and um, all the nitty gritty details about recovery and what life is like post-op, but, you know, I can tell you right now, um, I've had to take a lot less hormones, I've, um, you know, aside from the recovery from the surgery, just been feeling a lot better, so, um, yeah, I, um, I'll go into all the details later, but until then, I'm going to send some love and good vibes to every single person watching and then I'm gonna wrap this one up but yeah until I see y'all next time much love always